Okay, so this problem is an extension of the ones we were doing before that has to do with the substitution technique. We're still going to solve this by substitution, but then at the very end, we're going to put in these two numbers and we'll be able to get a numerical answer this time. So initially, we're still going to start this problem out same we've done before. We want to go through our four-step process to uh, integrate this by substitution. The first thing you look for, you look for the u. The u is the one that's usually inside of something else. So in this case, the u is 9 plus x squared. You're going to take the derivative of both sides for step number two. So we're going to do du equals 2x uh, dx. And then for step three, you're going to solve for dx and substitute it back into the integral. So when we solve for this, your dx is equal to du over 2x. Now I'll come over here and we'll work with this. You have x and then you're going to put in the square root of u because that's our inside part there. And then instead of dx, we do du over 2x. So the x's are going to cancel. There's a one half that we'll have that's going to come on the outside of our integral. So I'll have one half and I'll have u the one half uh, du. So that would be the, the end of step number three because now you've taken it down into an integral where u is the only variable. We're ready to integrate this for step number four. So step four, we raise the power by one. So that's three halves divided by the new power. And don't forget about the constant that you have out front. So there's a one half that you can just bring down and then we integrated the part on the inside using inverse power rule. If you simplify this, okay, we have one half times two thirds times u to the three halves. Notice I'm not putting a plus c here because whenever I have numbers that are given, I'm not going to have a plus c as the answer. I'll get an actual numerical answer. The twos are going to cancel out and I get a one third u to the three halves. Now, at this point, you have two different options for finishing this problem. Uh, you can plug the u back in, which is what we're going to do, and we're going to use the original 0 and 4. We'll get the answer that way. The other way to do it is you can use your definition for u to convert the 0 and 4 over into u's, and then you can plug those in here, and then you, don't, you can actually use it with the u variable in it. So in other words, put 0 into here, you get the bottom limit will turn into a 9, you can put a 4 in here, the top limit turns into a 25, and then you would put those numbers into this expression here. So that is an option for you, but since we've already been used to doing problems before where we plug the u back in when we did the substitution technique, I'm just going to keep following and doing that same process, and that's what I'm going to do for all the problems uh, remaining in this section. So when I, what happens is I have a one-third, I'm going to put 9 plus x squared back in, that's to the 3 halves power, and then I'm going to be using my original 0 and 4. So again, if you put the u back into here, you, you want to use the original numbers that were given. If you're going to leave it with this expression here, you got to convert the 0 and 4 over into, uh, into u's. Okay, so but I'll do it this process here, we've plugged it back in, now I'll put the 4 in and I'll put the 0 in to get the answer. So 1 third 9 plus 4 squared to 3 halves minus 1 third 9 plus 0 squared uh, to the 3 halves. So we've got 1 third goes in front of both of those. I'm going to simplify each of these. So I have a 1 third on the inside, I'm going to get a 25 that's raised to the 3 halves. Inside this one, I'll get a 9 left over. So I have 9 to the 3 halves. So I just want to work out what each of these are. If you raise something to the 3 halves, it's like you're taking the square root and then you're cubing it. Okay, so for this one, 25, the square root of 25 is 5, and then 5 cubed, you're going to get 125 for that part. For this one here, I have square root of 9 uh, is 3, and then 3 cubed is going to be 27. So this part here will turn into a 9. So if you do 125 thirds minus 9, the final answer you're going to get is going to be 98 thirds. So 98 thirds would be the numerical equivalent to this entire integral.